This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, a slim front pocket wallet available in carbon fiber and titanium. With more than 250,000 sold, a lifetime guarantee and free shipping, get 10% off with the code GOLDFISH at RidgeWallet.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Monday means it's Modern Monday here in Instant Deck Tech land, and we have a sweet one to look at today. This is Fist of Suns. Look at this lamp, some really big things into play in some pretty unique ways for the modern format. And this one comes to us from Morisita Suguru, who took it to an undefeated finish in a small Japanese tournament. So congrats to Suguru on a really unique deck. A quick reminder before we break down Fist of Suns for modern. If you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made into videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So Fist of Suns is all about sneaking big, powerful things into play really early in the game, and our primary way of doing this is the card Fist of Suns, a three mana artifact that gives all of our spells a alternate mana cost, which is one mana of each color. So instead of paying the normal mana cost on anything, we could just pay one mana of each color and cast things that way, which is a huge discount. If you consider something like Emrakul is 15 mana, Fist of Suns essentially cuts 10 mana off the cost of the card. So of course we do have to have mana of all colors, which is a challenge, but we got some ways to work with that. So Fist of Suns is kind of combo piece number one. We also have a couple of backup plans for cheating big things into play. Thran Temporal Gateway, lets us just slam a historic permanent. So artifact, saga, legendary into play for four mana, four to cast as well. Through the breach, you probably know this one, only a one of like Thran's Temporal Gateway, but lets us put a creature from our hand into play with haste. We lose it then to turn, but if it's an Emrakul or something massive like that, we don't really care. The damage is already done. So these six cards allow us to put really expensive things into play on the cheap. So how are we actually getting the mana we need to Fists of Suns things? And here we have a few different options. Our best option is Pentad Prism. Pentad Prism works really well with Fists of Sun. So we cast it for two mana of different colors, which is going to give us two counters that we can remove to make mana of any color we choose. So in theory, if we Pentad Prism on turn two, turn three, we play Fists of Suns. When we untap on turn four, assuming we make our land drops, we're going to easily have the mana of all different colors we need to cast any huge thing we choose with Fists of Suns. We also have a bunch of other fixing. Birds of Paradise, mana of any color, Utopia's Brawl Arbor Elf, kind of strange fixing. Be careful what you put your Utopia's Brawl on in this deck, because it's actually really important. Arbor Elf, kind of sweet, because we have a bunch of green shock lands, so it's kind of making more than just green mana. So these cards ramp us into our Fist of Suns. Also make sure we have the five colors of mana for our Fist of Suns. So what are we putting into play with Fist of Suns? And our two big ones are Emrakul the Eon Storm, and also one copy of Emrakul the Promise End. So one of the big upsides of Fist of Suds is it's actually allowing us to cast the card. Even though we're casting it for 5 mana instead of 15 or 13, that means we're getting the cast triggers on either of our Emrakul. So we, for 5 mana, Emrakul the Eon Storm, get an extra turn, untap, annihilate away our opponent's board, hit him for 15. Emrakul the Promise said we get to steal our opponent's next turn, which is usually just game ending, almost as much as Annihilator 6, honestly, on Emrakul the Eon Storm. So those are our two big payoffs for Fist of the Suns. We also have a couple of Planeswalkers, because remember, Fist of the Suns, unlike something like Through the Breach, it works on any spell. So we can play a Nicole Bolas Planeswalker for 5 mana, Ugin the Spirit Dragon for 5 mana, and these cards are also historic, so they work with Thran Temporal Gateway as well. So these are just massive Planeswalkers that can take over the game really quickly, especially for getting them on the battlefield on like turn 4 or something with the help of our Fist of Suns. That's a really fast, really powerful Planeswalker. Otherwise, we got a couple of like pseudo payoffs. Primeval Titan, Worm Coil Engine, obviously Obviously not on the same power level as an Emrakul or an Ugin or Ulamog, but the sweet thing about these cards is they're only six mana. So these are finishers that we can also just cast naturally with all of our Pentad Prism, Birds of Paradise, Arbor Elf, Utopia's Brawl mana. We can just ramp into a Primeval Titan or Worm Coil Engine on turn three, and either one of those cards is a pretty big swing. Not quite as game ending as an Emrakul, but still, tutoring out two lands, getting a 6 6 trample, a huge 6 6 lifelinky body from Worm Coil, gonna win. 
win a lot of games if it comes down early enough. So that's the basic plan of the deck. The rest of the deck, we have a bunch of ways to find our pieces. Ancient Stirrings digs through our deck for our finishers, for our Fists of Suns, for our Worm Coil Engine, even for a land if we need to. Fabricate tutoring out artifacts, which is Transit Portal Gateway or Fists of Suns, or something like a Worm Coil Engine. Serum Vision, just to set things up on turn one. As far as the mana base, we get a ton of green fetch lands to find, a ton of green shock lands, followed up by just a basic forest. So make sure to dodge the Blood Moons if possible. In our sideboard, we get some more ways to cheat things into play with Through the Breeze, just hasty finishers like Emrakul, a bunch of protection spells for our Fists of Suns and Thran Temporal Gateway. Spell Skite can eat a removal spell in place of our Fists of Suns. Defense Grid to fight through counters. Dispel to counter a counter. Thrag Tusk to gain some life against Aggro. Engineered Explosives. Anger for Sweepers. Graph Diggers Cage Nile Spellbomb for Graveyards. Nature's Claim to deal with eh, whatever artifacts or enchantments might be troubling us. And the life gain isn't a big deal because when we're winning, we are winning big with Ulamogs and Emrakuls and whatnot. And that is Fists of Suns for Modern. And that's our instant deck tech for today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.